OK, so we've been watching convicted Trump personal attorney Michael Cohen's testimony today might still be going on now, might be over by the time you watch the show or listen to today's show. And a frequent question that I've been getting on Twitter since Michael Cohen started testifying was there's all this general talk about, oh, Trump's involved in criminality. Michael Cohen's exposing Trump's involvement in criminality. What's the actual list of crimes? What crimes may have Donald Trump actually committed? Let's dig into exactly that question right now. Let's start with campaign finance. OK, Citizens for Responsibility and Ethics in Washington looked specifically at campaign finance crimes. They identified eight possible criminal offenses by Donald Trump, seven of which are felonies. OK, these are and we'll put them up on the screen for our audience causing AMI to make and or accepting or causing his then lawyer Michael Cohen to accept unlawful corporate contributions related to Karen McDougal. That's one of the things that Michael Cohen has been convicted of. Uh, two instances of causing Michael Cohen to make and or accepting an unlawful individual contributions related to Stephanie Clifford, also known as Stormy Daniels. That is also something Michael Cohen has been has pled guilty to. Two instances of causing Donald J. Trump for president LLC's failure to report contributions from AMI and Cohen related to McDougal and Clifford. These are all campaign finance violations. And then you see this other list causing Donald J. Trump for president LLC to file false reports with the FEC, making a false statement by failing to disclose liability to Cohen for the Clifford payment on his 2017 financial disclosure. We've talked about that before conspiracy to defraud the United States. OK, so these are just the possible crimes related to campaign finance. Then uh, uh, before we move on, I should say if anyone's going to argue Trump doesn't know anything about campaign finance. Well, Trump has been saying for years, including as far back as 1999, that no one knows more about campaign finance laws than him. And he knows exactly how to use campaign finance laws to get politicians to do his bidding and that that makes him smart knowing how to use the system. It's hyperbolic to say no one knows more than him, but it's hard to plead ignorance to campaign finance when you claimed knowledge of it, expert knowledge many times before. So then we get on to other crimes above and beyond the eight campaign finance crimes, seven of which are felonies that I just listed for you. We get to obstruction of justice. Obstruction of justice could include the firing of James Comey to interfere with the Russia investigation. It can include uh, directing Matthew Whitaker to install a Trump crony to oversee particular SDNY investigations into Donald Trump and others. I mean, there's so many examples of obstruction of justice that I can't even go through all of them today. Witness tampering. Witness tampering can include uh, Donald Trump's conversations with Michael Cohen before different testimony and meetings with investigators and House committees, uh, committees, that is Paul Manafort. We have reason to believe that Donald Trump engaged in witness tampering related to Paul Manafort and others. OK, so witness tampering is the next umbrella. And then this is a really interesting one. Lying to investigators and lying to the FBI under oath. Here's what I mean by that. Um, when Donald Trump was asked questions which he responded to in writing by Robert Mueller's investigators, those responses were considered under oath testimony uh, in the same way that if he sat in person with those investigators and he lied, that is lying to federal investigators. Based on Michael Cohen's testimony today about a number of different things, it is very possible. We don't know this yet, but we may learn about it. It is very possible that some of the written answers that Donald Trump submitted directly contradict what Michael Cohen testified to under oath today. This could be related to Trump's knowledge of and involvement in the Trump Tower, uh, not Trump Tower, Moscow, the, the New York City Trump Tower meeting with the Russian lawyer for dirt on Hillary. This could relate to Trump's claims about his involvement and awareness related to Trump Tower Moscow plans. If Trump submitted in writing under oath one perspective on that, and now Michael Cohen under oath is saying the opposite, someone is lying. They can't both be true. It can't both be true that Trump had no knowledge in advance of the meeting with Natalia Veselnitskaya and 
that Donald Trump Jr. came in and told him the meeting had been set and Trump said, OK, that's good to hear. Somebody's not telling the truth there. And if Trump said the former in his written submission to Robert Mueller, we're also talking about a crime uh, for which other people wrapped up in this thing so far um, are going to be doing time. So this is just the beginning of the list of possible crimes. And there's already a lot of them. And I know I'm missing some, but we have limited time and the, the potential crimes of the president at this point are are great. So that's as far as we're going to go with the list today. I am thrilled to tell you that today's episode is sponsored in part by Blinkist dot com slash Pacman. Blinkist is a really unique service for your phone, tablet and web browser. And it is incredibly useful for people like me who love books and learning but are busy. Blinkist takes the best and most popular nonfiction books and condenses them into 15 minute audiobooks. I'm sure that if you're like me, you have a very long list of books that you've been meaning to read. You only have so many hours in the day, and that's why Blinkist is so amazing. They take the most important information, the themes, the insights from each book, and they distill it into a 15 minute audiobook that you can listen to in one sitting. I've listened to a ton of books on Blinkist. Our audience can get a seven day free trial by going to Blinkist.com slash Pacman. If you're watching on YouTube, I put a link in the description. I have listened to Blinkist books about economics, about political science, about history, about science, so many interesting things. And after the free trial, if you like it, you can continue enjoying thousands of condensed audiobooks for about five bucks a month. Go to Blinkist.com slash Pacman. That's B L I N K I S T dot com forward slash P A K M A N.